Hey what's up guys and welcome to Webflow Daily Tech Tips and in today's video we're looking at how to clear your cache on your iPhone. Now iOS running on iPhones and iPads is a very robust operating system. In fact I've mentioned in the past that iOS 12 is literally the king of performance just because of how fast and snappy it is. But even with that title it doesn't save the iPhone from that occasional lag you get when you use your iPhone over a long period of time and it keeps collecting useless files that it picks up from Safari browser and other applications that you use. But then with time, they might fill up your cache memory and then your iPhone might start getting slow and laggy. So when that happens, you might need to clear your iPhone's cache memory and here's how to do it. Okay, so first of all, you want to clear the cache memory in your Safari browser. And to do that, all you need to do is go to settings on your iPhone. And then you want to scroll down to Safari. Uh, here you go, Safari browser. Now from your Safari settings, scroll down to the bottom until you find clear history and website data. So you want to tap on that and then tap on clear history and data. And that should make all your data that's collected by Safari browser on your iPhone or your iPad to be cleared from the cache memory. And immediately after that, you might find that uh, Safari browser is already much more faster than it was. But then again, you also need to clear your cache memory of other data that's been collected by other applications on your iPhone. So once again, go to settings, and then you wanna scroll down to general, and then you wanna select iPhone storage right there. And then under iPhone storage, you'll see a list of apps that are on your phone, and it shows you how much space that application and its app data is collecting. So if you wanna know how much app data is being collected by each application, choose an application. For instance, if I choose Netflix right now, I'll be able to see that the application size is just 77.4 MB but then my app data is 1.39 GB and that's a lot of cache data and a lot of data in your memory. So if you find an application with too much app data, the best thing you can do for yourself is to probably uninstall the app, maybe delete the app because this will delete the app and all of the related data on this iPhone. So you want to delete the app and maybe reinstall the app and it won't have all the unnecessary files and app data and that's basically how to clear cache in your iphone thanks for watching you can ask any questions and leave any comments down in the comment section below this video don't forget to share and subscribe to this channel for more tips but until the next one my name is chris and i'll talk to you guys soon